Well, it's Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and if you're dealing with this or know someone who is, there are things you need to know about living with and treating this most common cancer in American men. To discuss this, we're joined by Dr. Stephen Finkelstein, radiation oncologist, Florida Cancer Affiliates, and the U.S. Oncology Network. Doc, let's start with the basics here. How is prostate cancer diagnosed? So prostate cancer is the most common non-skin cancer in American men. In the United States, one in nine will get diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime. The good news, the good news, the good news is that prostate cancer is highly treatable and there are several treatment options available based on a patient's age, their health, and their personal preference. I'm excited to talk about these treatment options with you today. That's why I'm pleased to partner with Boston Scientific on this educational campaign. All right, so let's talk about who's at risk for prostate cancer. So uh, as we talk about screening men, uh, deciding to get tested is a personal decision. It's made after a consultation with a doctor. There's some important factors to consider as a patient, your age, your family history. Now, detecting prostate cancer early gives you, as a man, the best chance of living longer. In fact, more than 99% of men survive prostate cancer when it's caught early enough. In my own personal experience, my father was diagnosed with prostate cancer 10 years ago and received radiation therapy, and I'm happy to report he's doing very well. That is really good to hear. Um, all right, so talk about some of the advances that have been made in treatment options and who would benefit. When we talk about advances in treatment options, treatment options for prostate cancer include active surveillance where we monitor the cancer and do consistent testing to see if symptoms change over time, surgery to remove the prostate, or radiation therapy to shrink it. Each of these techniques has its own risks and benefits. Interestingly, the most common approach for older men is radiation therapy. And many of my patients are often concerned about potential side effects. What I tell my patients is that in order to reduce the risk of potential rectal damage associated with radiation, physicians can use something called space OAR, hydrogel, that creates a temporary space between the prostate and the rectum. The presence of this gel, which is inserted via a minimally invasive procedure prior to radiation therapy, is designed to reduce radiation dose to the rectum. Let's talk about some, I mean, from what I hear, it's symptomless disease, and then also let's talk about when men should start getting screened for prostate cancer, because I'm 46. Yeah, when we talk about screening, again, it's important to uh, talk to your doctor. Uh, classically, like you said, 50 is the age of which uh, people have been classically screened with blood tests. However, for an individual, based on your own individualness, you need to talk to a doctor to see if that needs to be earlier. Good advice. All right. Um, obviously, right now, you know, people are a little concerned. Is it safe to go visit your, your doc to discuss this right now? Now, clearly, 2020 is not the year many of us expected as both physicians and patients. Physician offices and hospitals have begun taking extra precautions due to COVID-19, and many locations have safely resumed elective procedures. Talk to your doctor about the precautions they are taking on site, and together with your doctor, determine the best time for you as a patient to receive treatment. In my own personal experience, patients have been seeking and patients have been receiving care just fine. All right, we're out of time. Where can viewers go to get more information? For those who are discussing radiation as a treatment option, you can go to spaceoar.com, resource provided by Boston Scientific. Well, thanks for your time today, Doc. We'll put this on the website so everyone check it out again. Just go to firstcoastliving.net.